coming back from winter it's time to get into summer so hello people and welcome to kite finder today we have something special for you coming back uh, from the steep mountains uh, back from the snow into the summer we got this beautiful toil uh, got it in from uh, spleen uh, kiteboarding and uh, well it's the first production hydrofoil under a thousand euros yeah so that's around uh, 2,000 pounds and uh, around uh, 1,200 dollars and uh, yeah so uh, let's see what this foil is all about of course we had a big question how can you make a foil that's under a thousand euros because if we go into the kai brands they're all between 1500 2000 euros if you go more to the specialized stuff that's full carbon you pay around uh, 2000 euros or 2500 so this foil is a lot a lot cheaper but uh, does it do the job if you look into it first thing we notice it's a full alloy mast it's a little bit heavier but uh, for the rest we probably don't uh, don't know if it does anything when, uh, when we're riding it what you can also see is the base plate is also from the same adenized aluminium and it has a lot of different holes so if you even already have another board probably there's a hole that will uh, fit your screws going to the fuselage it's pretty long Thing is, uh, well, pretty racy, pretty free ride uh, fuselage. If you look into the length, uh, it also is uh, aluminium, and then of course the fins. Uh, uh, the uh, other way. Yeah. It's a pretty short fuselage. Pretty short. It's shorter than the Kuri Cookie. Ah, but it's longer than uh, than the Moses. Yeah, is it? It's longer than the Moses. Okay. So it's longer than the Moses, so let's make it an average length fuselage. Can't sell so made so. Oh. The other thing is, if we look into the fins, because of course normally when you look into the wings, um, normally they're made of carbon, but uh, these wings are made from a material everybody knows already. Yes people, it's G10. Do you still know G10 when you had your uh, nice little twin tip? It always had those uh, greeny looking uh, fins uh, under it. That was a G10 fan. And um, so Spleen rediscovered G10 and uh, made all the wings out of it. Then on top, we see this, uh, this board. And yes, those uh, thousand euros are for the complete setup. So you have a, a mast, your fuselage, your wings and the board. It has a snowboard slash twin tip uh, construction, ABS uh, sidewalls, and uh, you can see a nice scoop. So this scoop will ensure that uh, if you hit the water, it will bring you up uh, straight away. EVA pad and uh, some holes uh, for your uh, for your uh, straps. So all in all, looks like a pretty neat setup. So uh, don't know about you, but. Uh it's around uh, 10, to 10 to 11 knots and uh, let's go out there. Oh, now I'm on the, on the, on the wrong side of the border. Oh. 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 Winter and summer line. Winter and summer line. Oh. So, uh, of course, uh, measuring is knowing. Uh, Steph thought it was a long fuselage. I say it's a short fuselage, or at least a little bit in between. -y. If we have the fuselage over here from Brand X, that's around uh, 70 centimeters, but the, the wings are situated just a little bit swept back on 67 centimeters. And if we're looking on the fuselage on the spleen, it's also around 70, it's 96 centimeters, but then the front wing is uh, a little bit uh, situated a little bit more forward. So, all in all, that's on 70 centimeters. So the wings are a little bit further out, but the fuselage itself is even a little bit shorter than a free ride uh, fuselage of uh, Brand X. Hey, and the um, front wing, the spawn wide of the front wing. You know, you can get all the technical data on the website of Spleen, spleenkiteboarding.com. But if we're looking at the front wing, it's like 53 and a half centimeters. And the one from Brand X. Yeah, it's the same. 
So it's nice, uh, a free ride, freestyle uh, fin. So it should be easy to ride, but uh, well, is riding it, it itself will tell us all the difference. Is uh, André Brent X, is that that guy that uh, splits the water? It's the guy that split the water in half. And um, yeah, he got a whole lot of people uh, from one desert to the other desert. And they were still happy about it. <laughs> so we think uh, we are the best uh, online uh, video videographers, uh, YouTube uh, kiteboarding. Uh, but uh, there's always a level more. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> You do not name me in the mailing. Uh, <laughs> not, not we uh, understand each other right. Yes, hey. uh, you can see uh, Gerrit has it uh, pretty for each other. <laughs> uh, now uh, the monkey comes out of the sleeve. Speaking of pretty. Yes, he put me with the balls for the block. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, well, uh, we have around, uh, what would it be, Steph? Everything between uh, 8 to 10 knots. Yes. Big waves. Oh, big waves. Oh. Oh. Hartstikke duim. First attempt, first attempt. Second attempt. Je moet best wel achterop staan, uh, ietsje achter zijn mast. Oh. A little bit backward, wat the... André has a little bit problems to start. We don't have a lot of wind, but normally with his own foil. It's up and running, and now he has to search a little bit. Yes, he's got it. Third attempt. He's got the sweet spot. Okay. Well, it's really nice. Uh, when you're starting it, uh, you need to step back uh, quite a lot. We have uh, put the mast in the middle, in the middle, in the center, and then with your back foot. You always have, you almost have to step all the way on the back of the board if you use the foot straps on the front to get it up. It needs a little bit more speed uh, to get out of the water, at least a little bit more than I'm uh, used to. So, uh, but once you're there and once you're riding, it's nice and stable. It doesn't whistle. What you normally see when a foil isn't really that, uh, that uh, uh, how do you call it, hydrodynamic as it shoots. You know, when you get little bumps and stuff in your mast, you will hear a little bit of a whistle. None of that at all. So, uh, all in all, it's really well constructed. And, um, yeah, I think it's really durable as well. Feels nice. It doesn't uh, need uh, that long of a turn, so it, uh, it turns uh, quite as a moderate, uh, uh, yeah, a moderate turn. So, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty surprised. And the thing is, normally when you have a thin board like this, you would expect it to sink really quickly. But um, yeah, it has a, enough volume to see if you leave it, it still stays up quite a while. And especially when you're riding uh, strapless, uh, you want the board to give you a minute to get on there. And uh, yeah, I think this board uh, really does it. So, uh, but of course, this is only one opinion. And uh, we'd really like to know from you, what you think of this, uh, is this board. So yeah, go out to a dealer and uh, try it, test it. And uh, please leave down in the comments uh, what you think of this board. We'll uh, see you next time. Kitefighter.com, don't forget to subscribe. Now we gaan here. Kite loopy. Yeah,